was convinced I was going to medical school. No question about it. I just got lucky enough to get a job at a major biotechnology company. I realized this is truly what I wanted to do. It gave me all the benefits of medical school, dealing with patients, dealing with health, dealing with science, understanding science, growing and learning. I am a process development scientist and my responsibility is to create a production process. So a scientist will discover a human therapeutic molecule and my responsibility is to figure out how do we make enough of that so that all the patients who need that molecule in therapy can get it. We actually have the opportunity to positively impact the health of not just one person, but literally millions of people. So what we do is not only creative and exciting and intellectually stimulating, not only do we get the opportunity to work with many different people in a dynamic team, but our final product actually saves lives. We have new enzyme technology that is created through, through cells, and these enzymes are very exciting because they can actually break down wood. If we can convert that into sugars, those sugars can then be converted into ethanol. A very exciting opportunity to use a renewable and low carbon emitting source to create new energy. Agrobiotechnology is a really important field in that we're now able to grow food in places we could never grow food before. So these are some of the ways that biotechnology is heavily involved in our society and is really shaping the future of our world. I want to gain a familiarity with these cells. So I'm going to start at a very small scale where it's very easy and I'm going to start running some production processes. Understand how well do these cells produce the molecule that I need to make. And once I start getting familiar with them, then I'm going to start making changes. If I add more nitrogen or if I add more carbon or I make modifications to how we run the production process, how do these cells respond? And I'll see, did the cell produce better or worse? Is it more likely to be robust or not? And so by doing that at small scale, I really hone in on what is the best process look like. Perfect. You guys are doing a great job. I have the opportunity to work with a large number of partners, and it's important that every one of these partners understand the production process I'm developing and provide their input into it. The best experiments are when I bring my idea to another researcher who helps me make them even better. I'll work with project management groups who really try to bring a lot of the players together. I'll also work with some of the clinical side. If this molecule is going to clinical manufacturing, what is that clinical demand? And will the production process work with that? The utilities groups. Hey, I'm gonna need this much heat removal or this much heat addition in there. So I need to make sure that the manufacturing groups and utility groups have not only the equipment, but all the utilities that can handle that scale. Then finally, we'll take this to large scale manufacturing. It's not unusual for this whole process to take almost a year. If you enjoy working in teams, if you enjoy science, if you enjoy learning and always learning the next and latest thing, you like being on that cutting edge, then going into research, in particular process development, really is a fantastic field for you. This video was developed by NCABR, a nonprofit science education organization. Funding provided by the Biogen IDEC Foundation in support of innovative ways to promote science literacy and encourage young people to consider science careers. Filmed at the Golden Leaf Biomanufacturing Training and Education Center at NC State University in Raleigh.